Live, local, late breaking. This is WDSU News at 6. Good evening, everyone. I'm Elizabeth Kubel. Happening right now, NOPD looking for two suspects and a person of interest in connection with a shooting outside of the Rouses in the CBD. Take a good look right here. The NOPD says these two people are wanted in that deadly shooting, and police say they sped away from the scene in this car that you see right here. 43-year-old Brandon Montrell was shot multiple times in a car outside of Rouse's supermarket along Barone Street on Friday afternoon and only on 6. WDSU reporter Shay O'Connor has reaction now from those who knew and loved the comedian. My cousin was coming back in town to visit for the holidays and I uh, was just running an errand to Rouse's and uh, as we all know in New Orleans, you could either you could be minding your own business and still end up in some BS. Confusion and anger. That's how Eddie Salam Montrell felt after hearing the news. His favorite cousin, comedian Brandon Boogie B. Montrell, was shot and killed here outside of Rouse's on Barone Street Friday afternoon. Salam says the two were more like brothers. He was an innocent bystander, caught up in some foolishness. You just wonder when is it going to stop? Family says the comedian had just caught a flight from Los Angeles to New Orleans. They say he'd been in town for eight hours before being struck by bullets as he was sitting inside of a car in the parking lot of the supermarket. Witnesses say they heard a hail of gunfire. The family now left with more questions than answers. He just landed at 11 o'clock and uh, went to Rouse's. I mean, you would think a store in that area in the CBD would be one of the safest stores. Like, we all want answers because uh, he worked too hard to be where he is, where he was, and just to be taken from us like that. History books. Come here, let me stress y'all out right fast. Boogie B was a rising star to so many. He had hundreds of thousands of followers and views on social media for his clever and hilarious videos recapping the history of New Orleans. You want to know the project that's located in the oldest black neighborhood in America? Come here, let me stretch you out right fast. He really was a hard act to follow. Like, you really, he made he made me step my game up. Comedian Shuler King has known Boogie B for more than a decade and says the news has already sent shockwaves across the comic community and those who followed his work. Across social media, tributes pouring in from fans all over paying homage. I don't know if your city understands the magnitude of, 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 of the loss that, that, that y'all are dealing with right now. I, I'm not sure, you know, because he was a great, great, great person, man. Now, instead of bringing in the holidays with the comedian, his family is now trying to come to grips with his loss. Salam says he will remember his cousin as being a humble, hardworking man with a huge heart and a lot of love for his city. We got that saying down here, real recognized, real with Brandon really went through the trenches to get where he is. So to lose him like that is what really hurts. The comedian actually had an upcoming comedy show scheduled for right here in New Orleans along Fulton Street in January. Unfortunately, his family will now have to plan his funeral. Reporting from outside of Rouse's Shay O'Connor, WDSU News. Just devastating. Shay, thank you. And if you have any information that could help police, you are asked to call Crime Stoppers. That number 504-822-1111.